morning. Good morning. Say hi, Charlie. Say hello. We're at the dumpster again, and I just wanted to see. I have a refrigerator full of stuff, but I just was curious to see what they throw out the day of, day of Thanksgiving. <laughs> this dumpster is full. Absolutely full. And I said, I really... If I find some things that's worth taking, I'll donate it. If it's worth... Because I have plenty. I do. Look at that. Yeah. Oh. Apples. These just got thrown out. You know what? I can always make an apple pie. I have the Crisco. And I can freeze these. So. I'm going to get my bucket. <laughs> I am hooked on dumpster diving. So. Yes. I am a diver. <laughs> okay. I don't need my grinder today. I don't believe anything is on top. So I can make some apple pies and take it, take them to the neighbors. <laughs> Look at these. Look at that. Bake. Bakeables, russet potatoes. They're cold. Um, some more apples. I mean, who can't use a baked potato? And these, these, there's, I mean, I can donate those if I, I have a bag of potatoes. I'm going to make some potatoes tonight for dinner and um, grill out some chicken, so I'll make a cooking video on that. Should be interesting. I'm <laughs> not, I don't know. I may run out of gas. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Ah. Apples with peanut butter. You know if you put apples and peanut butter. I was kayaking one time and I put apples and peanut butter in a container. And uh, they, it got really hot that day. And I, I was so excited when I ate it because it tasted like caramel apples. It really, really did. I almost want to take this whole bag with me. There's some basil. I needed more basil. <laughs> and some more, oh, sliced apples with peanut butter. The dogs alert me when someone's coming. Here's a whole bag of tomatoes that I'm just going to take. This video may be all over the place, but I really wasn't planning on bringing food home. I just, um, I wanted to see what was in there. <laughs> we didn't plan this, but this looks, I mean, why, I can't let it go to waste. I think maybe other people might come here and I don't want to pick everything if they do, but it's a really nice day. And um, this is not going to last too long, these vegetables. Um, so, you know. This is a huge bag of those cucumbers that don't have, I'm almost going to take this whole bag too, guys, you know, it has the cucumbers that don't have the seeds in them, which is good for people who don't have, you know, that can't eat the seeds if they have diverticulitis or whatever, and those are good. I'm at cucumber water, and it's really good for, um, you know, for your thirst. Look at that. Well, I guess they just decided they were going to throw everything out today. I'm just going to take this bag. I really am. <laughs> Charlie, look! Food, more food! We have fun donating it. Sure will. 
is, look, there's nothing on the button of this. <laughs> I just, I can't stand to see food go to waste when other people can eat it. And there's more of those potatoes down here. Looks like you just pop them in the microwave, which I don't even have a microwave. Um, we had an electrical storm one time, and it blew out everybody's uh, uh, air conditioning, but mine? Look at this chicken. I don't think so. But those are expensive in the store. And they smell good. I wonder if they'd be alright for the dogs to eat. They're cold. What do you think, guys? I don't know. You can let me know. Because, you know, I know they shouldn't eat fried food, but they're cold. They just put this stuff out here. I'm not going to eat it because it's in an open bag. But you guys have a strong stomach, I think. And he's not taking that. Mm -hmm. potatoes. I'm serve certainly gonna donate some of this. Um not sure what's in there. I was hoping to find some more flowers because the flowers that I got look at that big potato. It's hard as a rock. Okay, so that's it for this one, I do believe. I think someone might be coming, I'm not sure, but this is the one they throw meat out of. Wouldn't it be nice to find a big old turkey, frozen turkey in here for today? <laughs> Um, I give thanks every day. Looks like they threw a lot of, of this stuff way back in there. Um, big ol' I love this dumpster. Oh, look at all these, look at all these lotto tickets. People buy lottos and scratch-offs and obviously don't win. The whole bag is full of that stuff. No, I don't, I don't do that. I mean, there's nothing, if you want to play, play, but for me, what is that way back there? <laughs> Look, at, there's a whole thing. Um, so, all the lotto tickets there. I'm sure none of them are good. <laughs> I couldn't get that. But, <laughs> well, you never know. You never know. Good, okay, okay. Okay, so I'm going to close this lid up. If you will close, because I like to leave it a little bit neater than it was. And there we go. I mean, uh, the birds will be back to get eat that stuff. And uh, if other people come to get food today, at least it's going to be covered a little bit. Um, it's about 11 o'clock, um, in case you wanted to know uh, when it is. Look at all this. We'll go through it. Maybe we'll make some pies. <laughs> so, there we have it. Hey, Max. I'll show you what all we got when we get home, and I'll see you guys soon. We are back. Guess what? I went into the Dollar Tree to pick up a couple things. And Charlie ate all of the chicken strips that I got out of the dumpster. I'm not sure Max got one. I, I There was one left that Max got to eat. But no wonder Charlie doesn't want any more. She's full. <laughs> I guess they were good because dogs don't eat stuff that go bad. Here's all the tomatoes that I got. And they look really good. I'm going to wash them. There's just a couple that have some bruises, but um, I love these tomatoes for spaghetti sauce. And since I, I'm telling you what, look at these, look at these potatoes. They are really hard. Um, and I need some stronger glasses to see the expiration date on these, but it says you can just put them like in the microwave, but like I don't do that, but. Those, these I actually think that I'm going to donate because those will be good for the food 
the food pantry. I already have a, a full thing of potatoes. I'm going to make some potatoes today with the spinach that I got. Um, probably going to go bad. So Here's a jalapeno that looks good. And I tell you what, that's going to go over here with the cucumbers because every time I get cucumbers I will make cucumber water and I have to make falafels and I don't know if you know falafels especially if I get lettuce tomatoes and and cucumbers because I'll I'll do the recipe falafels are a Greek and so I had to go into the Dollar Tree and get some black olives and some oil to cook the falafel. I, re I I used the other basil last time, the uh, uh, organic basil. I use basil a lot. <laughs> and here's these dipping sticks. Um, there's one that's, well, they're all sliced apples with peanut butter. And like I said, you put these out in the sun, they taste like caramel apple. This one is actually sliced apples and caramel. And their expiration date's today. So those are okay. This expiration date's 1127, and I got two of the mixed apples and three of the red apples. And I'm going to cook. I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna freeze these. I did get some more freezer bags because, I mean, I I have a lot in my freezer already. But that I'll make some apple pies with those. Those would be great. And when I go kayaking, I take them and I take them with peanut butter, and it's wonderful. And this bag of lettuce looks great. It's going to be good for falafels. And all of these potatoes, these bacon potatoes, I mean, they are, they're solid. This one actually even looks a little green. There's nothing wrong with these potatoes. So, there you have it, guys. Um, oh, I wanted to show you something that was funny. Look at, look at all that stuff I got. Um. And this, um, this is not done inside. They, they threw this away a couple days ago, um, and it is not right. So, I'm just leaving it out, hopefully. Um, I went to the store and got some Dollar Tree and got some foil, because I'm going to grill out. I'll make the falafels tomorrow, guys. Today I'm going to grill out, because I have to use some of these potatoes, and... Um, I've got some freezer bags. So, I did get some barbecue sauce from the Dollar Tree because that chicken that we made yesterday, I think would make good chicken barbecue chicken sandwiches. Um, and so, when you make falafels, you need the black olives, and those were a dollar, and the feta cheese which I absolutely love, and those were a dollar each, but, um, those were good. <laughs> so, I mean, anyway, we're still on budget. Yesterday only cost a dollar fifty to eat for the whole day, and that's including, you know, the things that I had that I already bought. I broke it down, so a dollar fifty, wait a minute. No, because you have to divide it by four, because it made four servings at least. So that's what, I don't know, we'll just say 50 cents to eat for yesterday. And I had a salad, a really good salad, and some awesome vegetable curry with the rice. Then the whole day only cost me 50 cents to eat for all that. So, yep. So for today, all I spent, I spent two, three, four dollars on five five dollars on food six dollars on food and then for these and um yeah that's in the oil i just keep it i use it over and over again when i make the falafels because it just keeps flavoring it keeps flavoring it so that'll last me a long time so anyway guys i will see you later when i start cooking i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna wash these up and i mean baked potatoes oh my goodness Oh, I wanted to show you something else that's quite funny. I mean, in this candy that I got yesterday at the food bank, the um, the M and M's. There must be some kind of I don't know what's going on, but 
Thai coconut peanut M&Ms. And they're pretty good. I mean, they're they're okay. I don't think I'd buy them, but look at this one. I'm not even sure if I want to try that. Mexican jalapeno peanut M&Ms. Mexican jalapeno peanut M&Ms. If anybody out there has tried these, let me know. I don't, it says vote to win. Maybe it's on the flavor. I might get, I don't know, I might get brave later and try one of these. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And look at that little M&M guy. <laughs> He's a little Mexican M&M, Spanish M&M with uh, some jalapenos. And, okay. Well, there you have it. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> that is so funny. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. It's time to cook. I have the... Um, the tomatoes and all the cucumbers that kale that I got the other day from when I rescued the flowers the kale was in there and it still looks good so what I'm gonna do is this spinach was taking up so much room in the refrigerator and it has to be cooked right away and there's so many things you can do with spinach once it's cooked so I'm gonna cook that I have some butter in there I'm gonna put some garlic in the pan sliced garlic and some lemons. I need I need a lemon. Look at all these potatoes guys. So what I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna put some potatoes, onions, and green peppers on the grill because I got all that out of the dumpster and the green peppers, the um, potatoes right there, those need to be used. And so I'll wrap them in foil. I have my lemon squeezer out to make some lemon uh, lemonade. I'm going to make some lemonade. Also, for drinking, um, I know that, you know, it can cost a lot of money to, to buy um, things to drink. And you don't find a lot of, of stuff to drink. But I buy this Southern Sweet Tea. It's two fifty at Walmart. <clears throat> and you can get, um, you can get a lot... I get like three gallons out of it. I like it a little strong. And so I just take those and put them in my teapot. Put some water, let them sit. And then put them, mix them with a, a gallon of water. And put a little, you don't even have to put sugar in it. You can put some lemon in it. Whatever you want to do. But that is a cheap way to um, have some really good iced tea. It's very good. So, and this is the chicken that... Um, the chicken thighs from yesterday, I actually froze them, I wasn't planning on using them, but I thought, you know what, I'm in the mood for some barbecue, so, yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to put those on the stove. Here's the lettuce that I got today, it looks perfectly fine, I just took the outside leaves off and washed it, and these apples are awesome, I wanted to, um, it's peanut butter. I wanted to clean out the refrigerator to put those apples in there because I'm going to donate them, I think. Some of them. Because look. Look at all the apples I already have. I mean, I have plenty, so. <laughs> okay. So let's cook some spinach. Okay, so I put um, some sliced spinach, or <laughs> sliced garlic. Um, some butter and some olive oil in here and then get that like turn it down turn it up to two and right now I'm going to um, make some lemon juice so okay so I have the lemon juice that I made it's just you know it's a little bit it's not, I don't know <laughs> maybe a third of a cup and I'm, I'm going to put that in there I think lemons um, and spinach and garlic and butter go really well together. And <clears throat> I tell you what, I'm just going to dump this in there. And yeah. Yep. There's our barbecue chicken that's going to simmer for a while. I'm just going to cook this spinach. Get it out of the way because once you cook it, you can always warm it up. It's good. Um, and I'm going to put these two in there too. I'm going to fit them in this skillet somehow because you know it cooks down to nothing. So 
Wait a minute, let me see if I can fit all this spinach in this one pot. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to have to cook it separately. That's okay. I'll just wait till this cooks down with it. I don't take the stems off. I don't mind the stems. I mean, and I'm going to put the kale in there in a little bit. I'll make it go separately. So there we go. I have it done. Um, let's see. I'm going to turn it up to about three and just let that cook for a little bit. And meanwhile, I'm going to get the potatoes ready and work on those. Okay, so I'm going to get ready for the potatoes. I have decided that I think I'm going to take the potatoes over to my neighbors. Um, the one that have, they have kids and they don't, they need, I, mean, <laughs> I don't think she works, so. I'll take some potatoes over to her. That would be a nice little surprise. Maybe some apples because she has teenagers. That would be good. They can have snacks. Um, so I'm going to do that today. And I may make some cookies and take a few cookies over to her. Or even an apple pie. I don't know. We'll see how energetic I am for today. I'm getting tired. Of but that's a little trick that you can do with this and it stays good longer. Take the core out and I'm going to put that in the baggie. We'll use this for the um, falafels <laughs> that I'm going to make one day. One day this week with the uh, tomatoes and the cucumbers mm, and, good. and that jalapeno. Yeah, I'm so glad I have room in my fridge now and all that spinach out of it. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to use are these potatoes first. I'm going to take this onion and just um, take that off. throw that out I think that's enough onion and in order to keep it from tasting like too much of an onion or having it strong when you cut it up you can rinse it off with cold water um, just dip it in this water with the vegetables and that keeps it from uh, tearing your eyes up when you cut it up it's a little trick I learned <laughs> up this onion and use it. I'm contemplating whether or not to use the grill. I like to use the grill for the potatoes um, because to me it's just easier to put them in foil. I'm going to try it. We'll see what happens. I'm not sure if I have enough um, um, gas, so propane or whatever you call it. We'll see. Like I said, this is an amateur cooking show. It may get funny. It may get interesting. It may get weird. It may get dull, boring. I don't know. You guys tell me and I'll adjust it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's fun. I love to cook. So there you have it. There's those. Those are onions. And I put garlic in it, too. So... I'll tell you what, I think I'm going to just put all that garlic in there. Because it's starting to get soft. And so good for you. So. Okay, next. Potatoes, potatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. So, I'm sure you don't want to watch me peel a potato. So I'm going to actually get my little trusty red slicer thing out. Do that, and I'll be back in a second. Let's see. I'm going to turn this thing off. <laughs> so, okay. I have started dicing the tomatoes. Or not dicing, but chopping them into little squares. Um, 
In the meantime, the spinach looks like it's getting done, so I'm going to take it out and put the other spinach in here. Yep, definitely done. So that looks good. And, mmm, oh my goodness, that tastes good. There's a barbecue simmering, barbecue chicken. I only used a half, a half a bottle of this, so that'll be, you know, cheap to make. Look at the spinach, guys. Oh, it looks so good. It's, it even tastes good. So, I'm going to put the other spinach in and dice up the other um, potatoes, and we'll get started cooking those. Okay, so there's the spinach. I didn't add salt yet. Um, I'm going to do that. And turn that up. And here's the other batch of spinach. Mm, you know what I think? I think this will be really good in like a, a spinach, egg, and cheese omelet. We're going to have some for dinner tonight with the potatoes and the uh, barbecue. Mmm. Guys, that is so good. Lemon, garlic, butter, olive oil, and spinach. It's so easy to make. So easy. Okay, so we're going to let that cook. Mmm. Okay, so as I was cutting up the peppers, I got a hold of the jalapeno and took a bite out of it. Whoa, it's hot. Um, might as well go ahead and try those M&Ms. <laughs> anyway, I like a lot of peppers on the, um, I have like five small potatoes here. <laughs> it is still burning. Woo! What a little bite. I am saving that jalapeno for the, uh, Greek food. <laughs> Only need a tiny bit. Okay. So, all of this, all of this, guys, came out of the dumpster. All the peppers, the onion, the, um, everything but the garlic. I'm going to put olive oil and a little butter on it. And I'm going to put it, throw it on the grill. And salt and pepper on it. Um, meanwhile, <laughs> I need some water. <laughs> the spinach is looking good. Oh, yeah. Mm. to the spinach. Water! Mm. Okay, so I'm going to finish chopping this up. Okay, so there we have it. That's green pepper, onions, and like five small potatoes. I am going to smash some garlic on top. I'm going to turn the spinach off because it is done. Right there. Barbecue is smelling really good. Mm -hmm. I I I'm going to add some more barbecue sauce because I like it a little saucy. I thought, you know, it, it really didn't have a, a bad flavor, but with it being a tiny bit freezer burn, put the barbecue sauce on it, and you'll never know the difference. And it does. It tastes good. So here's my trusty old spinach, or garlic smasher. And, ugh, well, I'm going to put too many garlics in there. This is going to make me grow some muscles. Okay. In there. And you don't have to take the skin off when you use one of these. You just put it in there and smash it. Love it. This thing is just the best. I've used it forever and ever. I've probably had it 20 years. Um, 
and um, I use it every day, pretty much. So I love garlic. So I've put about four garlic cloves on this, and I'm thinking that's enough. If I want to save some garlic for something else, I'm getting low on it. So now what I'm going to do is put some olive oil on it. Okay, um, salt and pepper on the grill sometimes makes it really spicy. I'm not sure. I don't put a lot of pepper. I just put a little bit. That's enough. Okay, so there goes my hands again. Just mix it all together. Um, actually may not put butter on it either. I mean, I think the olive oil is enough. It'll be fine. Oh, it's going to be so good. It smells good. <laughs> Mix that all together. Let me taste it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next, I'm going to put the foil on top. Like that. Fold over the edges. And I'm going to put it on the grill for like medium heat. I have a gas grill. Um, Probably for about 20 minutes. I just go out and check it every but 20 minutes and then I check it. So, there we go. Get those edges down really good so it'll steam. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put this on the grill. I'll see you guys in a second. Max, you want to say bye? Max wants to say bye. Oh, say bye, Max. Oh. Yeah, look at that tail. Look at that tail. Okay. Say bye. Give him kisses. Max wants to say bye. He's saying bye. <laughs> He's waving. <laughs> <laughs>